previously on Netflix Crazy Frog Movie. Well, 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 are you finally gonna review my movie? And now back to Drake's Fantastic Five. Well, to answer your question, yes, so uh, we are doing your review of your movie, but why are you even here to begin with? Well, I'm glad to ask. It's because I'm only here to tell you about uh, the bad uh, things I've been going through lately because ever since the reviews came out for my movie, um, things are not looking great for me because people are now sending me death threats and now I'm getting some really much bad lives because now they realize I, I have franchise fatigue and I'm just worried that I might be out, oh, it could be the end of this, of us minions, and we gotta be dealing with this all day, and it's just, it's just depressing for us, because we've been on top of the world for like 14 years now, and now this could be the end, and I'm just like worried about how this will turn out. See, oh, oh wait, what's going on? Hey, uh, hey sir, you, you know who I am, right? Oh yeah, you're the that minion from that stupid movie? Yeah, uh, you yeah, this in a movie? Why would I want to waste money for cash grabs for something like this? And you, yeah, you fell off, man. You should probably just leave. Stop making movies and just die for once. Uh, whatever, I'm going home. You see? You see, this is what I get. This is what I get with de all these uh, reviews. People are saying that I should stop. I should just kill myself or something like that. Or something like that. And I mean, seriously. I get like, like worse complaints after here. And, uh, oh, hey, you, you seen my movie? Come on, please. Uh, I even your suck some, man. Because, listen, I used to think you were cool back in the first movie dropped. But now, you have just been exploited. Exploited so much to death. You were, they are milking you to the ground. Much more exploiting you. Much more than Ryan's toy reviews. And that is saying much, man. I suggest, just stop making movies. And just, just flat out stop out of favor. Let you die. Just, man, just, just flat out leave. And just, never return. Okay? Well, poor, poor celebrity. You see? This is what I deal with now. And this is pretty much my life. And I'm just hoping, I'm hoping that we're, you at least get a positive review from this. Okay? Oh, sure. Lying on the internet is probably the best idea I've ever had. I'm pretty sure Donald Duck is doing the same thing with his presidency during the elections. But, eh, we're probably never going to cover it in the news. So, anyways, uh, I'll make it a to start the video. Are we going to do the same thing that we did in the last episode? Probably not. We'll probably do something different each time just to see the formats could work. Let's probably do this one. Like, I I reveal one portion, and then you reveal a portion, and I reveal a portion, and then you reveal... And then you... Uh, and then we both uh, do the characters or something like that. Maybe that could work. We'll just do something like that. Anyways, I'm going to go start. Let's go together, and then I'll just... Uh, Let's just go over there and start. Okay, let's, I'll, let's just go then. Oh, so thank you, good. I thank you, but... I'm really hoping I'm not in this time because I've been going through a lot lately. So, yeah, so just please, um, please be good. Okay, so, uh, we're here right now and then you're gonna go. Alright. We're here. So, alright, let's just get it out of the way. What are my thoughts on the first three movies? Um, first one is usually just a meme thing now. Like, and like Shrek and Shrek. This movie two is probably the best one. And then the third one is just. Probably don't remember that much from the movie. So, why not? I give my thoughts on the Minions 1 and 2 because those don't count. So, anyways, we start to reveal. I guess so. So, this is our review of the Spiggle Me 4. So, uh, we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna start with the story and then afterwards we'll do the animation and then we'll both be the characters. Yeah, alright, let's do that. Alright, he's okay. going right there. So, anyways. Alright, so I'm gonna give out the story of this movie. So, we start off with the. Uh, um, Min, uh, girls, they uh, we have a high school reunion with the villain, Count of Transylvania, and then afterwards we get to Mega Mind here, just trying to, it turns into a cockroach, he, and then afterwards he, he was a British accent, and afterwards he just flies off and just try to take revenge for ruining his night. So, yeah, that's stupid, but whatever. And then we got to move the side because now they're gonna kill them, uh, and now they decided I gotta move somewhere to, like, Fancy town or whatever the hell I think Meriwether that's his name as well. And then afterwards the minions are gonna be with the minions so they can become the Fantastic Five. Yet yeah, five, cause there's no there's just five minions in the that. We'll get to that later. So anyway, some uh 
Yeah, and then afterwards they have just some side pods with uh, them trying to disguise, and then we have Pop and then we have Poppy Student Emerald, and then trying to side pods with uh, the the baby, and then afterwards yada yada yada. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So what are my thoughts on the story? If I would have prepared all of them, I'm gonna do this. And the first story is simple. The second one was probably kind of not that simple, but it was better. Two side pods, it was like a side pod with it, but it was still better. And yeah, the third one it had like a little a couple of them, which is probably like just they forgot about it, which is kind of weird. And this one had like a lot of side pods, they're just like letting you know that. So, because uh, like potholes. There was the, the style, there was the hairdresser, which the hairdresser, Lucy and the hairdresser thing, which we, I, I don't know if I read this point because that's not really in there. They have, we have seen Lucy doing the, probably in the trailers or whatever. So uh, I don't really count that as a way more because it's not really near the end. So uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, the, the, the Lucy as a hair dryer. Yeah, that just, they just forget that about her and just like, oh yeah, forget about it. Moving on from that because after the last time and then uh, that lady didn't even bother coming back to kill her. Because I'm pretty sure they would have like, kind of like, oh, oh yeah, there was like some missing things in this movie. And the spoilers in the ending. So, uh, Lucy did say, I'll figure out a way to get out. And we never see her get out. So, basically, assuming that she did all that off camera. So, yeah, very much. So, anyways, yeah, yeah. And that's... On the other side pots, then side pots, plot missing hot holes, and, and yeah, they get kind of get resolved, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So overall, I would say it's kind of a little bit of a mess to be honest, but I wouldn't say terrible because I've seen worse. But and eh, you go figure. So um, uh, Mickey, are you ready to be prepared for the animation? Yep, I am. So you wanna go sit over there? I'm gonna sit on the other side, so I don't have to bother. Okay, so I'm gonna move over here just so the camera fits me better. So I'm gonna give out my thoughts in the what are my thoughts on the animation? I think it's pretty much standard. So like to be honest, I really got nothing to say because it's just standard run of the mill standard animation. Like nothing special to be honest. Even with the Fantastic Five minion knock knockoffs. Yeah, that's pretty much what I think about all of this. It's just that um uh, uh, to be honest, it's just a little bit, a little bit off to say because it just doesn't really feel right to do it. But I would just say, uh, I think everything will work out well. So, yeah, so, um, uh, that's pretty much what I can safely say for this, um, animation. But I will say action scene-wise, they're kind of cool. But, I don't know, they were kind of like, it finished too early. Especially, if, spoiler, the final boss, like, the, end, the final client, the final boss with the the cockroach shoot back of mine, and then afterwards you just fall, you just the whole thing falls, and then he falls down with them, and then afterwards just and then the minion stampede killed him, and then done. That was it. That was it. Nothing. It was short compared to the other ones. It's just a little disappointing to be honest. It just yeah, it's not shorter. I don't know if it's shorter than the third one, but still though, it's just weird. Also, don't hate that I seeing with the the skunk seems there. I get it moving on, and everything else is just standard, just to say the least. So, how are we gonna do this? Uh, this uh, way, it's just you or just me for the the characters. Uh, I think we'll figure out a way for this. So, I think both of us should do it just to make it easier, or you can just do you and me. I think we should do that first before we just, and maybe in the next video we'll do that. Okay, so, anyways, I'm, uh, alright, just, uh, alright, here's my our thoughts on the characters. Let's we'll start off with Gru first. Gru is Gru. Moving on. Um, we got the other ones. Lucy is just there, to be honest. She really didn't do much, to be honest, besides, um, the end with, uh, when the old lady, the principal, tried to capture them in the end. And, yeah, so, and, yeah, we don't see them there. And there were some other characters. Oh yeah, I heard they use an actress. They had Jojo and oh yeah, the Jojo thing. That was just side. That was just never. They just never came back after that. She just forgot about it. Like, damn. Oh yeah, that key. Oh yeah, that teacher probably should stay the fuck away from those kids. I mean, they kind of looks like a pedophile to say the least. But I'm not gonna judge. 
so far. So, anyways, um, uh, yeah. So, um, uh, there was, uh, yeah, but, uh, oh yeah, the uh, yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna some other characters. We'll get the spoilers, but we're gonna address the new ones now. Um, let's start off with Mega Mind, the I'm, the cockroach Mega Mind. That's not his name. I think it was Maximilian. Yeah, you thought it was Maximilian. Okay, so I yeah. Um, uh, compared to the other ones, none of them's gonna top Nectar or El Macho. Uh, yeah, I think mean, yeah, some of them make the. Uh, yeah, we'll get to those later. But oh yeah, we kind of set the name. Fuck. But if you've seen those thumbnails from those videos, then yeah, you kind of already got spoiled. So sorry, but that plays in the end of the, the end of the movie. So, oh uh, yeah. So wait a minute. Um, yeah, I think uh, we'll just say. Um, oh yeah, let's talk about some of the characters. They have not. Oh yeah, the the fog, the poppy. Uh, I'm poppy. I'm poppy. Please don't bring that theme back up. That's annoying. Okay, so um, uh, yeah, she's just there. Like she really didn't. You know, she's like, I like, I wanted to force you to do something because I wanted you to steal the skunk. Okay, and yeah, that's just weird. Weird. I mean, she really doesn't do much than like the end, like trying to save her, and afterwards just like, oh no, I'm falling. At least help her, have her in there. Maybe in the fifth one, if I ever do that. Well, I digress. So, anyways, oh yeah, let's talk. Uh, yeah, um, some of the, the characters are just stupid, to be honest. Like, um, they're the, the why the uh, Poppy's parents? They're just there, like they're just like don't want to deal with this in the movie. The mother's annoying. Kind of sounds familiar, like the woman in the second movie. Like I don't know, like trying to get um the Mabel's actress in that movie and whatever. Yeah, I can't say that. So, anyways, let's talk about spoiler the spoiler characters. Oh yeah, spoilers in the final ending. Um, uh, spoilers, he was in prison and they decided the boys are gonna sing uh, Everybody Wants to World the Euro from two years to years. Which, I can't believe I'm saying this, and now I'm just gonna say it. Yes, it's that song that was appearing in one of the Skippy Toilet episodes, which... I, I can't believe I said that, and I'm gonna go, um, kill myself afterwards. And I know I can't say that on YouTube, but... If I'm gonna mention that stupid toilet, I will address suicide. Um, okay, so... This is just needed. So, anyway, so yeah, all the characters are there. I think those were the same people I think. I, I didn't. I look at the additional voices. I didn't even see. Can't find the uh, Trey Parker. Or, I don't even know the other guys' voices. Um. So yeah, yeah, they were just there for the ending because they were in the NBL. And oh yeah, so the characters from the villains from the spin-off series, Scarlet Overkill is and Herman was still there in the movie. You can see Scarlet's gray hair. Like yeah, this was. Well, I don't know what year this this movie takes place around the time war, which is weird because the minions don't age. This is the time gap. What's the minions three gonna take place in the eighties? What's with the time lap? Those girls are never gonna age. They gotta stay the same for marketing purpose. Oh yeah, we're forgetting about Jack Jack. Who Junior? Oh yeah. He's basically Jack Jack. He's moving up with no powers moving on. Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, it's weird. Oh yeah, the villain is six. I don't know what happened to the, the knuckle egg guy. I think, I think he just, I don't think he was in it. Yeah, whatever. So anyways, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Drew was in there and his wife is in there. Oh yeah, Dr. Nefario is in this movie. He's not dead. They confirmed that it was a time. They're frozen in time. So, you know, so that's why they, the girls have never aged for the last five years after the last movie. I think it was eight, whatever. So anyways, yeah. So, yeah, whatever. So anyways, seven, whatever. Yeah, so overall, um, yeah, the characters' wise are just, most of them are pointless, to be honest. Weird, just weird. Yeah, it just feels weird, to be honest. Wow, I mean, god damn it, it was so weird. Yeah, pointless. Oh no, I think we have officially lost, man. Oh no. I mean, if we're gonna be brutally honest in that minion over there, what we said, I don't know if he's gonna be happy. This will be weird. Yeah, so. <sighs> What have we done? So, overall, if we're gonna compare this to all four movies, um, uh, four, fourth one, fourth, I mean, last place is the fourth, this one. Coming in third is the third one, the second one is the first, and then the first place is second. And then the second one. I like the second one more. Fuck off. So, anyways, how are we gonna do with this review? I think one of us just takes turns. Alright. Alright, let's just, I'll just, we're gonna, oh no, I'll just. All right, so overall, um, the Strickland Me 4 is just the, probably the weakest movie of the match. But on the right side, it gave us a Drake diss track. Presumably, I think that's what people are saying, both of the lyrics, but 
I mean, yeah, you could look it up yourself. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think Drake's Life is a fan of the Whom, so I wonder how this she's gonna feel about this. So yeah, um, Nikki, you wanna give out the overall the uh, plot point? Yeah, yeah, I'll say it. So the story, I'll just say it. The story here is just uh, a lot of plot holes missing, weird, and then animation is just standard to be honest, not anything spectacular or anything. It's just fine, and just characters are just most of them are just pointless. It's just about ruin the thought and the baby with. Mega mine. So yeah, that's pretty much our thoughts. So what are our recommendations? If you're a fan of the first if you're a fan of the movies, then just watch it. Uh, if you're there just for the memes, I mean some uh, got, the vector was able to get a bunch of people dressed as vector to watch the movie. Uh, I'm hope I'm I'm not really sure what was his they didn't get to see the the first of them cheering is probably their reaction to when he's in the movie. So yeah, so anyways I'm uh in the yeah, so all oh, I would say if you're not a fan of them, but don't even bother with it. That's why I bother. So yeah, um, so what's the, the rating? I'll give my rating first, and then we'll give our overalls. So I would just, what's your rating? I would say, um, uh, I would say four. Really, really bad? Is it really bad? No, I wouldn't say bad. It would just say mid, I guess. But for all my overall rating, I would just say it's a five out of ten, which is disappointing for me to say this. So. I don't think Minion's gonna be happy about this, so yeah, I don't think so. So I'll just sit over there. Just wait. Yeah, okay. So I mean, oh no. All right, we'll just wait for him to arrive. All right, so hey, are we ready to watch the Max, uh, the Fantastic Five next? Yeah. So all right, so I think I'll just slide down. I wonder if he's gonna arrive soon enough. Wow. Wow. I am so disappointed in you guys. I mean, wow. Just, you don't understand all that crap I've been doing right now. And I'm just wanting someone to get a good, a positive review for this movie. And you gave it a mid rating. I guess that's it. I officially have hit franchise fatigue. I don't know if Illumination will be able to do a third one. He'll be watching it just battling in the box office. Their first dud since Hop. Oh no. What have I done? Have we, have I actually, oh my God. I just, I, I, I think I get it. Oh my God. I'm gonna, I need to figure out a way. I need to redeem myself. Maybe, maybe something gets three. What is it going to be five? Cause after this, I don't know what they're making after this. I mean, I don't know what they're doing for next year. I don't know what they're doing for after the Mar- Because the next one they have is Mario. I don't know what they're doing next. I don't know. Oh no, what have I done? I eventually should drop on him. Oh no. I gotta stop this. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know. It's been a night. It was nice on you guys, but I gotta go. I gotta go. Talk to the Illumination. Maybe. With their next movie. Whatever the hell that comes out next year. <sighs> I'm gonna find a way to save this. Save this franchise. I'm gonna save this company. I will save them for hitting rock bottom. I will save them for not hitting a dime in the box office. I will save them once and for all. And I will thank you guys. And I will thank you. But I got shit to do. So I will save our franchise with the power of memes. It's time to steal the moon. I'm coming for you, Chris. Melod Andre, I need to save you. Uh, what the fuck just happened? I have no idea, so... Um... Okay, so... Well, what's... What's next? Uh, I have no idea, so... What about that series? Well, we're not there yet. It's just... What a little bit. Alright, so... Um, now what's... Uh... I, don't think, I know there's a tornado on coming, but I don't think I'd be interested... No, I don't think I would get a kid to have a crap about that one. Okay, so now what? I guess we'll find out soon. I'm just hoping no one would interrupt this. Yeah, I highly doubt that. Okay, okay, Chris. Chris, I need to tell you something about the franchise. We're all hearing franchise fatigue, but I don't want to. I will figure out a way to save this for a from this franchise dying. For this big movie 5, we'll just make one big grand finale with Minions 3 copping off in the 80s to see where he is today before he met Vector and the others. So, I think that's what we're doing for this. But wait, wait a minute. 
You're not Chris. Who are you? Well, of course I'm not, uh, stupid little minion. I am someone that is probably going to defeat you in the box office later in the next couple of weeks. And I think you already know who. Because one big Marvel movie is coming to the big screen. And I know you will love it. And that person is none other than me. Hi, everyone.